hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a website header section with the help of html and css here on this computer screen you can see we have the navigation bar with the logo and some menu text then we have some text description and this button and in the right side you can see this image and with this image you can see a background color which is touching on the top and the bottom of this image is round so we are going to create this design using html and css so before starting this video i would like to thanks bluehost for sponsoring this video bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting if you will buy a web hosting from bluehost you will get the free ssl certificate free seo tool and free cdn when you will buy web hosting for one year you will get the free domain name also in any of the web hosting plan you get the ssd storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth it means there will be no issue with the traffic you can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running here you get the free ssl protection i will put the bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click and start building your website if you don't know how to build your website with bluehost i have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes you can find that video link also in the description now let's start this video here in this folder i have one html file one css file and one another folder called images and in this folder you can see i have one logo and one user image you can find this image download link in the video description now I will open these code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, box sizing and font family. These properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In the HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add code in the body tag. So here we will create a div with the class name header. And next we have to add the CSS for this header. So let's add this class name in this CSS file. And for this header we will add width. Width will be 100% and height will be 100vh which is viewport height. After that we will add some padding. So there will be some space. So we will add 0 from top and bottom and 10% from left and right side. And let's add the background. We will add very light color of background here. After adding this, let's open the HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this light color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open this web page with the Visual Studio Code extension called live server so it will refresh the website automatically whenever i will add any changes in the code and save the code file let me come back to the html file and within this header we will add a navigation bar for that we will add nav tag and within this nav tag first we have to add a logo so we will add image tag img write the file path of the image images slash logo dot png this is the logo and after this logo we will add some menu links so we will add ul li and in this li we will add a tag so that it will be a clickable link here we will add home let's duplicate it and change the menu link it is when After adding this again refresh the website and now you can see this logo and these menu links below this logo. Next we have to align these things side by side. So let's come back and uh, here we have added nav. So come back to the CSS file here we will add nav and for this nav we will add width. So width will be 100% then display will be flex, align items center and justify content space between. So all the contents will be side by side. Next we will add some padding. So 20 pixel from top and bottom, 0 from left and right side. After that you can see this logo in the left side and menu links in the right side. Next we have to arrange this menu links horizontally. So we will come back and write this nav. In this nav we have added 
ul and li so for this list we will add display inline block and list style will be none and after that we will add some margin margin will be 10 pixel and 30 pixel in this li we have added the a tag so for this a tag we will add text decoration none so it will remove the underline and we will change the color after that you can see this navigation links looks good next we will add the title description and a button on this page for that let's come back and uh, you can see the nav tag is closing here so here we will add some space and here let's add another div with the class name text box and within this text box we will add a title in h1 this is the title and next we will add some description in p tag so this is the description and after that we have to create a button so here we will add one a tag and here let's add the button text it is shop now after adding this let's come back to the web page again and here you can see this title description and a link which is shop now next we will design this one so let's come back and you can see we have added the class name text box so write this class name in this css file and for this text box first we have to add some space from the top so we will add margin top it will be 130 pixel and let's add the max width max width will be 600 in this text box we have added a title in h1 so for this h1 we will add font size font size will be 45 pixel then margin from the bottom to add some space and let's change the color after adding this you can see this title looks good next we have to add the css for the link which is shop now so let's come back and write this class name and then write a for the a tag here we will add display display will be inline block then we will add text decoration none color will be white it will be the button text color and background and after background we will add some padding 10 pixel from top and bottom 30 pixel from left and right side and let's add the font size font size will be 18 pixel and some margin from the top border radius of 6 pixel now it is good here we will add a line break so let's come back and come to the html file here we will add br to add a line break now it is looking like this after adding the title description and a button we will add an image on the right side and there will be a background color behind the image so let's come back and after closing of this div which is for the text box here we will add another div called user box and in this one we will add one image write the file path of the image images slash user dot png like this after writing this you can see this image at the bottom so we have to change its position just copy this class name user box write it here and for this user box we will add the background so let's add the background color after that we will add the position position will be absolute top 0 and right 12%
you can see it is on the right side next we have to add css for this image so in this user box we have added the image with img tag so here we will add img and display will be block then we will add padding from top to add some space 100 pixel then width will be 4 10 pixel 410 pixel you can see we have some space on the top of this image next we have to make the corner round for this one so we have to shift this image so here we will add margin bottom and we will move this image by 50 percent so you can see the actual width of image is 410 pixels so we will move it by half here we will add minus 205 pixel 205 pixel so you can see the bottom of this image is round now you can see the navigation menu link is hidden behind this color so we have to change the z index so let's come back and here in this user box we will add z index 1 and uh, in this nav here we will add position relative z index 100 now you can see these navigation links are visible so finally we have completed this beautiful website header section i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video